we're going to be covering slides, I think it's like 33 to 45, something around that. Um, we are going to be talking about some new vocabulary words that have to do with genetics. So for the most part, this is going to be memorizing some new vocabulary words. Um, so for Mendel's experiments, he came up with a few ideas that reshaped basically the idea of genetics. His first idea was that genes come in dirt, dirt. <laughs> <laughs> different forms, sorry. This causes organisms of the same species to still have some differences. So for example, eye color. Eye color can come in green, blue, brown for humans. Um, so it looks in, a, the human eye can look in a variety of different ways, such as being brown or blue. We call that an allele. So the different, so if we were talking about say fur color for a horse, the different fur color or hair color, it's really not fur, the different hair colors would be the different alleles. Or if we were looking at roses, the flower petal color and roses, the different colors, like if it's white, if it's pink, if it's red, those would be the alleles. So alleles are the different forms of that gene. So there is a variation of the gene color in a pea plant they can either be purple or they can be white. Those are the two different alleles. And looking at his experiments, Mendel also concluded that the organism inherits two alleles, one from each parent. So they get one from the male, in the case of the peas, one from the male flower or male plant and one from the female plant, um, or in humans, one from the mother, one from the father. These alleles will pair up in the children and we'll determine what the child's physical appearance is or the offspring's physical appearance is. One comes from mom, this arrow should really be pointing this way, one comes from the father. And then these are two new vocabulary words, homozygous, and then there's gonna be heterozygous, okay? The prefix homo means same. So in a homozygous organism, each allele is the same. So that would be if we were talking about flowers, if both flowers, if the male and the female flower were both purple, that would be homozygous. So homozygous means same. And we use letters to represent these traits. So um, we just pick really any letter. Um, what's best is when you're picking a letter, you pick a letter where the capital and the lowercase don't look the same. So for instance, like um, the letter C would not be a good letter to pick because a capital C and a lowercase C look the same. A's are great, R's are great. T's are great um, because the capital and the lowercase are different. So an organism that has two of the same alleles, meaning two identical letters for a gene is homozygous for that gene. So the word zygous means zygote. That's the name of the fertilized egg when the, the pollen and the seed meet, or if we were talking about the sperm and the egg, when they meet as a zygous. So homozygous, same. Heterozygous means different. So an organism that has two different alleles, two different letters is heterozygous for that gene. That means one capital and one lowercase. So our choices are heterozygous, which would be one capital, one lowercase, or homozygous, which could be either two capital or two lowercase. So there's three choices altogether. Now we're gonna use two new vocabulary words, dominant and recessive. If the two alleles of the pair are different, meaning heterozygous, one allele determines the physical appearance and that's called the dominant allele. The other allele has no noticeable effect on the appearance and that's recessive. So just to help you remember it, just remember that the dominant allele dominates the recessive one. So in other words, Mendel came up with the idea that one variation of a trait will be shown. So if one parent has blue eyes and the other has brown eyes, the child will more likely end up with one or the other. Usually they don't have, end up with one of each. This hypothesis also went against the blending hypothesis here. Um, so remember they used to think that if you crossed a red with a white flower, you would get a pink. That was the blending hypothesis. But according to Mendel's hypothesis, if the two variations are red and white, the offspring will either show red or white. We can describe a trait in the terms of physical appearance of that trait or the alleles present for that trait. For example, suppose we're looking at the pea plant below. 
we can either say that it has a purple flower or we can say it has alleles for purple color, which are big P, little p, or it could be big P, big P. When you describe the physical appearance for a trait, you're describing the phenotype. So I always remember physical phenotype. They both start with PH. So when we're describing the phenotype, we're going to say it's a purple flower. Or we could describe the alleles. When we describe the alleles, we're describing the genotype. The genotype is always the letters or the genes. The genotype for this flower is big P, little p. This is the phenotype, purple. The genotype is big P, little p. That means it is carrying a recessive trait in there that's hidden, that white flower. In humans, there's a gene for eye color. The brown eye is dominant to the blue eye. So this is big B. This is definitely little b, little b. The only way you could have blue eyes is if you had little b, little b, two recessives from both parents. Suppose that you met someone who is homozygous dominant for this gene. Homozygous means same. Dominant means capital letter. What is their genotype and what is their phenotype? So homozygous same, same two letters. Dominant means capital. So phenotype means what would their eyes look like? Will they be brown or blue? What would their genotype be? Will they be big B, big B, big B, little B, or little B, little B? I'm going to hit escape because I think I can move these. There we go. And the answers are if they are homozygous dominant, it's going to be homozygous means two of the same. Dominant means two capital, so they're big B, big B. And if they are big B, big B, then the phenotype, what they're going to look like, is going to be brown because brown is dominant. Sorry. Um, <coughs> there's this law of segregation, which says that a sex cell, which means for us it would be for sperm or egg. If we were talking about plants, it would be pollen or, or their <coughs> ovary. Um, a sex cell carries only one allele for each trait because the alleles pairs separate or segregate from each other during meiosis. Remember, that was cell division when the cells divide, and they go into separate cells. Remember, meiosis makes the sex cells. This is known as the law of segregation. So the alleles, when they're making the sex cells, separate, so there's only 50% of the genes. This means that the parent can't accidentally pass on two of the same chromosomes. All right, let's go over the answers. I'll read them all. Alternate versions of a gene are called chromatids, heritable factors, heterozygotes, or alleles. The answer is D, alleles. An organism that has two identical alleles for a gene is said to be blank for that gene. Two of the same. Which word means two of the same? Is it dominant, recessive, homozygous, or heterozygous? The answer is homozygous. Remember, same. Okay, and we're going to stop there. I am going to post um, tomorrow a Quizlet so you can start studying these words.